Dragons are some of the most iconic creatures in mythology, found in stories from nearly every culture around the world. But did you know that dragons can symbolize both destruction and protection depending on where the myth comes from? In this video, we'll explore how these legendary beasts have evolved, from the wise, water-controlling dragons of the East to the fire-breathing monsters of the West. Get ready to dive into the ancient myths, epic tales, and modern fantasy worlds where dragons still reign supreme. Origins and Evolution of Dragon Myths Dragons are some of the most universally recognized creatures in mythology, with their stories emerging independently across multiple cultures. Their origins trace back thousands of years, appearing in early civilizations like Mesopotamia, where serpentine gods like Tiamat symbolized chaos and creation. Dragons evolved from early mythological serpents, often embodying forces of nature, particularly storms, floods, or fire. The association between dragons and nature is a theme present in most dragon myths, representing both destructive and protective powers. As human societies grew more complex, the symbolism of dragons adapted to fit varying cultural narratives. In Eastern cultures, especially China, dragons came to symbolize benevolent forces, tied to rain, fertility, and imperial authority. Meanwhile, in Western cultures, dragons often embodied evil, chaos, or greed, frequently depicted as hoarders of treasure and enemies of heroic figures. These divergent depictions highlight how dragons serve different roles depending on regional beliefs and values. Dragons in Eastern Mythology In Chinese mythology, dragons, or long, are revered as symbols of power, strength, and good fortune. Unlike their Western counterparts, they are seen as wise and kind creatures often associated with water. Chinese dragons are typically depicted as serpentine creatures with a combination of animal traits such as the horns of a deer, the scales of a fish, and the claws of an eagle. Their ability to control water, including rivers and rainfall, made them essential figures in a largely agrarian society. Emperors, considered descendants of dragons, often use dragon imagery to represent their divine authority. In Japan and Korea, dragons hold similar roles, though with unique regional adaptations. Japanese dragons, known as Ryu, are often seen as water deities as well, while Korean dragons, Yong, are also associated with agriculture and prosperity. Across East Asia, dragons remain popular symbols, representing balance between heaven and earth, and embodying the ideal of harmonious power. Dragons in Western Mythology in Western mythology, dragons are typically malevolent beings. Their stories can be traced back to early Greco-Roman myths, where figures like the Hydra and the serpent Python were adversaries of heroes. The Hydra, a multi-headed dragon-like creature from Greek mythology, had the ability to regenerate heads, making it a formidable opponent for the hero Heracles, Hercules. Similarly, in Norse mythology, dragons such as Fafnir were associated with greed and destruction often guarding treasures and causing ruin to those who encountered them. During the medieval period, dragons became even more entrenched in the lore of Europe. They were often depicted as winged, fire-breathing reptiles, terrorizing villages and kingdoms. Christian symbolism also portrayed dragons as embodiments of sin, with saints like St. George becoming famous for slaying dragons as a symbol of triumph over evil. This idea reinforced the dragon as a creature of chaos and malevolence in the West, a stark contrast to the more positive depictions in Eastern mythology. Dragons in Middle Eastern and African mythology Middle Eastern mythology also features dragons, albeit in different forms than their Western or Eastern counterparts. In ancient Mesopotamian stories, dragons were often linked to chaos and creation. The goddess Tiamat, for example, is portrayed as a primordial dragon, embodying both the sea and chaos. Her defeat by the storm god Marduk symbolized the triumph of order over chaos and the establishment of the world as it is known. In Persian mythology, dragons such as Aji Dahaka represented evil forces that brought destruction, often opposing divine heroes in their quest for balance and order. In African mythology, dragons are less common but still present in some regional myths. For example, in the Dinka culture of South Sudan, there is a myth of a giant serpent-like creature that controls rain and rivers, 
echoing the water associations of dragons in Eastern cultures. These creatures were often seen as both protectors and destroyers, depending on the balance of nature and human actions, emphasizing the duality present in dragon myths globally. Dragons as symbols of nature and the elements. One of the most consistent themes in dragon mythology is their connection to the elements, particularly water and fire. In many cultures, dragons are tied to water, rain, and rivers. Eastern dragons, for example, are closely linked to water, controlling the rain and seas. This association reflects the importance of water for agricultural societies, where the benevolence of dragons was seen as essential for survival. Similarly, in other cultures, dragons are guardians of natural landscapes, such as mountains or forests, further emphasizing their role as protectors of nature. On the other hand, fire-breathing dragons are more prominent in Western mythology. The ability to breathe fire ties dragons to destruction, emphasizing their danger and unpredictability. Fire, a symbol of both life and destruction, reinforces the dual nature of dragons as both creators and destroyers. The fire-breathing dragon is often depicted as the ultimate challenge for heroes, symbolizing the battle between order and chaos, civilization, and nature. The Hero's Quest and Dragon Slaying Throughout mythology, dragons often serve as the ultimate test for heroes. Dragon slaying is a common motif in both Western and Eastern myths, though the symbolism behind these battles varies. In Western stories, slaying a dragon often represents the triumph of good over evil, civilization over chaos. Famous examples include the tale of St. George and the Dragon, where St. George, a Christian knight, slays a dragon to save a village, symbolizing the defeat of sin. Similarly, in Germanic mythology, the hero Siegfried slays the dragon Fafnir to claim a hoard of treasure, emphasizing the dragon's role as a guardian of wealth and power. In Eastern mythology, however, dragons are rarely killed. Instead, the hero often seeks to appease or gain the favor of a dragon. These interactions reflect the dragon's role as a powerful, but not inherently evil force. For example, in some Chinese myths, dragons may challenge the hero, but the ultimate goal is harmony, not destruction. This contrast highlights the different ways dragons were viewed across cultures, from enemies to be vanquished, to wise beings to be respected. Dragons in Folklore and Fairy Tales Dragons feature prominently in folklore and fairy tales, particularly in Europe. These stories often pick dragons as hoarders of treasure or kidnappers of royalty, like in the tale of The Dragon and the Princess, where a brave knight must rescue a princess from the clutches of a fearsome dragon. This narrative reinforces the idea of the dragon as a symbol of greed and destruction, with the knight representing the force of good that restores order. These stories passed down through generations, have shaped the popular image of the dragon in Western culture as a dangerous adversary to be defeated. In other cultures, dragon stories take on a more nuanced tone. In Slavic folklore, dragons, often called zmei or zmei, are multi-headed serpentine creatures that can be both benevolent and malevolent. They are sometimes helpers of heroes, but are also seen as powerful forces to be respected. These tales reflect the complex nature of dragons in folklore, where their role as protectors or destroyers often depends on the context of the story. Dragons in modern dragons have continued to evolve in modern fantasy literature and media, becoming one of the most iconic creatures in the genre. Popularized in stories like J.R.R. Tolkien's The Hobbit, where the dragon's smog embodies greed and destruction, dragons have become synonymous with adventure and heroism. In more recent works, like George R. R. Martin's Game of Thrones, dragons are portrayed as powerful and majestic creatures, serving as symbols of conquest and power. These depictions borrow from the ancient mythological traditions, but adapt them for modern storytelling. In fantasy video games, films, and novels, dragons are often the ultimate adversary or ally, reflecting their dual nature as both forces of destruction and wisdom. They are frequently featured as protectors of ancient knowledge, hoarders of vast wealth, or powerful weapons in the hands of kings and warriors. The modern portrayal of dragons continues to draw on their rich mythological roots, emphasizing their role as awe-inspiring, untamable forces in a world of magic and mystery. Cultural Significance of Dragons Today Even outside the realm of fantasy, dragons remain potent cultural symbols in many parts of the world. In China, 
the dragon is a symbol of national identity and pride, often seen in festivals, art, and architecture. The Chinese dragon dance performed during Lunar New Year celebrations is a way to invoke good fortune and prosperity. Similarly, in Japan and Korea, dragons appear in festivals and cultural events as symbols of strength, protection, and harmony with nature. In Western culture, dragons often symbolize challenge and adventure. The image of the dragon has been used in logos, sports teams, and even military insignias to represent strength, courage, and ferocity. This modern symbolism continues to draw from the ancient perception of dragons as powerful, fearsome creatures that command respect. Scientific Inspirations Behind Dragon Myths Though dragons are mythical, their descriptions often bear a striking resemblance to real animals. It is possible that ancient people, discovering the fossilized bones of dinosaurs or large reptiles, may have been inspired to create tales of dragons. The idea of enormous, powerful creatures roaming the earth fits with early human understanding of the natural world, especially as ancient cultures sought to explain the existence of giant bones and strange creatures. Another possible inspiration for dragon myths comes from actual animals like crocodiles, large snakes, and even Komodo dragons, which are known for their formidable size and fearsome abilities. As these animals became known to various cultures through trade or exploration, it's easy to imagine how exaggerated tales of these creatures could transform into full-fledged myths of fire-breathing flying dragons. The Role of Dragons in Alchemy and Medieval Science In medieval Europe, dragons held symbolic importance in alchemy and early science. Alchemists often used the image of a dragon to represent the volatile and transformative nature of the substances they worked with. One famous symbol, the Ouroboros, a dragon or serpent eating its own tail, represented the concept of eternal cycles, particularly the cycle of life, death, and rebirth. This ancient symbol was adopted into alchemical thought as a metaphor for transformation, continuity, and the pursuit of immortality. Dragons also appeared in medieval bestiaries, collections of descriptions of real and mythical creatures. These texts blended natural history with mythology, reflecting the belief that dragons were not merely symbolic, but actual creatures that existed in remote parts of the world. They were sometimes classified alongside other exotic animals, such as griffins and unicorns. This integration of dragons into early scientific thought reflects the blurred lines between myth and reality in the medieval worldview, where exploration, religion, and imagination coexisted. Dragons in Popular Culture and Their Lasting Legacy Dragons continue to have a powerful presence in popular culture today, spanning a wide range of media. From literature and film to video games and comic books, dragons remain one of the most captivating and versatile mythical creatures. Whether as fearsome enemies like Smog and the Hobbit, or majestic allies like Toothless and How to Train Your Dragon, they represent a wide array of qualities, strength, wisdom, danger, and mystery. Their ability to evoke wonder and fear makes them perfect for storytelling as they push the boundaries of human imagination. Beyond entertainment, the legacy of dragons persists in contemporary symbolism and branding, where they often represent power, resilience, and endurance. Whether depicted as ferocious beasts or wise protectors, dragons continue to inspire awe in modern times, proving that their mythical power transcends both time and culture. As we continue to tell stories, the image of the dragon endures as a reminder of the mysteries of the past and our fascination with the unknown. Thank you for joining us on this journey through legend and lore. Subscribe for more mythical tales and epic legends.